welcome at Private Kitchen. We're very honored to have you. Uh, next thing, I would like to talk with you about uh, difficulties film composer encounter. Uh, the, the, everybody knows those situations where you put in musical ideas for a film and they are uh, not accepted for whatever reason. And uh, everybody knows, every film composer knows a certain film which has been awful from that perspective. You know, you try a lot of things and things are not accepted and it's, uh, sometimes can be very difficult to find out what is the reason behind the not accepting this particular cues and what's the reason for accepting uh, another idea. I've asked you to think about it and, and you came up with some ideas. Can, can you talk a bit about it and, and we can also watch and listen particularly of course to the, to the scenes. Well I had this um, uh, film in which I had to find something disturbing in a character and uh, the samples I submitted uh, were not there and um, I really worked hard because it was a silent film so the importance of music was very mm -hmm. very high mm -hmm. and um, somehow I was too cautious and it's always difficult to interpret it I mean to, to to put into music what what the director really means and um but it's, it's a matter of trying out so mm -hmm. first time second time third time and um i've had a very interesting experience in which i end up learning a lot from the director okay and i think this is very uh important because when you have the no from a director um Sometimes you have the gut feeling he's crazy. Mm -hmm. I know I'm right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is, but it's his film. Mm -hmm. So I go with the flow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes his no is challenging. You don't want to see it, you know, but uh -huh. well, you go for it and you say yes. And so I have this experience in a trilogy in which the director uh, sent me. Uh, three films and he asked me to compose the music for uh, the three chapters and I was not finding the right um, mood I was as I said too cautious and then he said this is the problem is that your music it's not moving me nor disturbing me okay and I th I thought uh, I thought that was a very very good and strong definition of what illustration music is mm. neutral music is i'm here to illustrate you know i'm here like documentary music mm. unless you have to take an emotional position but you have the notion of efficiency in music a neutral track would be efficient mm -hmm. here i didn't have to be efficient i had to say something without putting too much on the moving nor on the disturbing so his sentence gave me the answer okay Shall and I found, yes, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the first two, two examples which got a no. Okay. Okay.
I've I found the two examples, particularly the, the yeah both are they are, they are they back off, you know they are back off. That's exactly the thing. But I was thinking because we we're going to listen in a minute to to the the yes example. I liked um, these two also because it. As a spectator, it also gives you room to develop your own mind. So it's interesting. I I, I understand now why he didn't accept those two because they they back off. They were more neutral, or they but at the same time they give also space, room to the spectator, to the audience to f- make up your own mind. That that's I think the advantage of a kind of cue like this. Uh, the third one is um, much more, yeah, it's, it's it's telling more. It's also more active. I'm very happy you say that because it means that it that, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know. But this one thing I'm learning now while I'm talking to you, and I hope you 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 include this in in the interview. Yeah, sure. That I'm learning something from you that you say now that this backup music also gives the space to the spectator to imagine things yeah so the positive side and this is something i never thought of uh, about and I, th- I think it's very interesting you know because that's also in dutch the beduling you know yeah, the yeah, meaning yeah. of the thing yeah. you know so it's not only that you hear it's to give that space i never thought about that i like that very much but i'm like uh i'm glad that you see also in a very concrete way these two backup things and the other one much more Saying more, yeah, yes. Saying more. Let's, let's also have a look and and listen, Good. of course, to the, to, to the third example, the the yes example. It's real different uh, from the from the first two. I think the first one is very silent and, and holds back, and the second one is it's it's also has a, a kind of dreamy quality. Yeah. Uh, because of the sounds that you use, of course, and the third one is more what I said. I, I, it also has some kind of suspense, slightly. What's going to happen? Uh, and, and That's the action. disturbing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the disturbing thing. And it's funny because, well, you have to translate into music, but here, this disturbing thing, when he's painting, Mm -hmm. the disturbing, it's not on the arpege I have. The disturbing is on this half tone in the melody. That's it. You know, say, okay, what is going to be my disturbing side? Okay, (laughs) ta-da. Okay, good. (laughs) It can be as simple as that. Was this the first cue that... Because you were working on different cues, of course, in the film. Was it the first cue that he accepted and that didn't it open the way to other cues? Because we have another cue to, to discuss. Uh, no, I had 10 cues, 10 yeah. cues per film. And which, so but, I, yeah. which, which one was approved the first? Was this on the, uh, the third one? The, the third, third, the okay. third, yeah, the, the third, every time was the third tryout. Tryout, it's correct. Okay, you know, the first one I sent 10 tracks okay and then he said well okay yes it's nice but put a little bit more number two i said okay i'm going to put this wavy thing dreamy thing you're talking about you know okay i went too much and when the disturbing part was missing and then when he said this is not moving me nor disturbing me and then i said okay okay i have to create both and that was the third part cue yeah so it's a film, and this is why I'm saying it's the most, not most, but interesting, challenging. It's a film that it's nine minutes long. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, this is the first because I have three chapters. Mm -hmm. Each chapter has more or less than me. I started working in August. I delivered in November. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talking about challenging, length has yes. nothing to do. Format has nothing to do because it's not a feature film, uh -huh. a long, you know, it's a short, intimate uh -huh. film that I would go out, walk and think about, you know, yeah. so what is it? What is it? You know, challenging. What is it? Why is that I'm not finding it's because I was too cautious. Yeah. And once you knew that, you knew also how to handle the other cues in the, in the film. Once you Yes, because then everything would be a result of what I had done before. Yeah. I see. And then it, it worked perfectly. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, shall we have a look at the, at queue number 10? Yeah. Let's at, uh, at the first two versions, which are also the, the no. no, the no versions. <laughs> <laughs> What I notice is, is the first one, so the A version, is, is, is still rather active, so it also has a kind of movement. Uh, the second one is, is much more holding back again. Um, so, but he didn't, still he didn't agree with the first one. It's interesting that you say that, because indeed you have that element of movement, of rhythmic, yeah. but you don't have the disturbing thing oh, that okay. he was it's looking for. Still. So, uh, and not only that, he, that's what I love about musicians because they, they have this, they, their own music culture. So, and with different words, you mm -hmm. know, and they say, no, 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 no. You have this typical film music violence on it. I don't like it. <laughs> <You know>? so, <laughs> and I said, what is it? You know, what, what are you talking about? This typical film music violence. And you cannot even hear them, you know, so. Uh -huh. I think it was too, no, no, it was sugary. It okay, was not, yeah, the, the disturbing thing was missing. And again, if you listen to number three, which was the chosen one, yeah. 
I have the minor interval, yeah. you know, the, the, the microtone, the disturbing thing. So actually you have to see that as number one was proposal number one for 10 cues. Oh, I just okay. gave you number ah. two and 10. Yeah. Okay. Proposal number two was I see. Q and number two. So that means that in proposal number two, scene T 10 has somehow a connection with scene two. Yeah. You see, because they were built on the same line. Yeah. So. Was, uh, was this, uh, let, let's have a look first at, at, uh, at the first sure. view, uh, the yes version. The director is, is, is he is he also a musician? Did he use musical terms to communicate with you? No, no not him. Okay. If you're talking about he is no, no, not really. No, no, no. So he just said the words that you mentioned. It's not moving me. It's it's not. Uh... It's not yeah, it's not moving me. And it's it's um, illustrated. But he yeah, he's got the perfect, uh, the perfect words. The perfect words for me to be able to see what I'm not doing. Uh -huh. You see, so I think this is uh, very important, you know, that, uh, that cool. and, and, and what he, when he thinks that I'm there, he also has the right words. That's that's what I like about him, you okay. know. Did you, did you uh, work on, um, already on other projects also? With him yes, I worked on, on this trilogy, actually, it's um, I, I made chapter three mm -hmm. and um, he decided to put together three films and make a trilogy. Mm -hmm. So this is why he wanted me to do the music. Since chapter three had already my music, okay. he said, the only way for me to un unify this trilogy is to have her on chapter one and chapter two yeah. with the same piano sound. Okay, so I already had that reference in mind. I have that thing from chapter three that I have to reproduce. But already in the first uh, project I had, I mean, chapter three, I had a wonderful experience with him, really. And I'm talking about 10 minute films, you know? So I'm working with him uh, next year on a feature film. It's very intense. It's very, very intense, very simple. He's very thankful also. I like that very much. Uh -huh, yeah. He doesn't think, he doesn't take things for granted. I like that very much. And I learn from him a lot, a lot, you know? It's like, um, because it's always difficult to find the right doses, especially in problematic items. Yeah. You know, problematic can be, I don't know, um, emotional problems, love problems, uh, I mean, drama films, yeah. you know? Yeah. How not to be obvious with the thing. Yes. And this is, I think, I was too much on that frame. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, go. And then he said something, I prefer you to go too much and then we take out. Ah, that's also a good approach indeed, yeah. You see? Across the go. Across the border for your feeling, then you can always go, go back, take back. Absolutely. And uh, yes, I think it's... Uh, oh, nice. Something nice. like a very good col collaboration because... You it is a very good collaboration, that, yeah. yes. Um, Daniel Rodriguez is his name and... Uh, he has created his own 
film production company. And um, yes, I'm very happy with this collaboration, really. What, what I said is, I'm very happy about the fact that I learned and also that we can give to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, and that did you realize as a musician how much can you can you give to a project also mm -hmm. you know it's like um, it's a great satisfaction mm -hmm. that uh, and, and he would say that he will say that at the end thank you very much for this this is what I mean okay you see that, and not nice. taking things that's really nice you know so, not so many directors who tell you this when <laughs> after finishing a project I know you know that that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot for sharing all your experience with this particular project. And if you, for the audience, if you want to know more about Selma, have a look at the other interviews with Selma. Thank you. Thank you.